I love to snoop around through people's lives, don't you? That's why I became a member of this online dating site, Liking Me. refused to remove personal videos and photographs of celebrities. Last week, these photos and videos were illegally taken from the online dating site, Liking Me, by a hacker known as Chilea. Apparently, the hacker has been blackmailing the owners of personal information for large amounts of money. Oh my god, did you hear what happened? They hacked Liking Me and like the whole information about all these celebrities is online. How was your weekend? Ugh. Same old, spending on a couch with the cats. Seriously. Come on, you have to get out there. Get back in the game. It's been six I months know. since you guys broke up. I know, I want to. Do you know Likey Me? Likey Me? What's mm -hmm. that? It's a dating site. It's quite new. You know, I looked at those dating sites and I'm just like, I don't want to be out there. I don't want to have like a picture on there. I don't want, you know, people knowing that I'm looking for a date. Yeah. I mean, no offense, but I just don't want people talking about me. Aileen is the manager of several celebrities, which makes her more reserved online. Cautious. Her Facebook page is calculated. She didn't even change her Facebook status to single. I understand, but that's, that's exactly why you need to try liking me. It's different than all the other ones. I okay. can assure you. I'm listening. Well, liking me is about your inner self. I mean, you know Tinder, right? Well, Tinder, you use your own picture and you select a partner with a picture, swiping. With this, you use all this other information about yourself. It sounds scary, but interesting. Scary? It's yeah. not scary. I mean, you just give access to all your devices, like your phone, your laptop, uh, your tablet, everything. That's how they get your information? Yes. And with this information, like, for example, they, they look to your browser history and the photos you put and pictures you posted and also the things you put on and post online on Facebook or Twitter, for example. And with this, you create a new online person, identity. Xiaoqiu is the carefree. She is on every new social media site and can't wait to share. Her Facebook status is single and she has 749 Facebook friends. And you have a profile? I do, yeah. And is it anything like you? Yeah, 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 it's really accurate actually. Um, I mean, it looks like me, it's just more of a party girl because I post a lot of party pictures on Facebook. So. Yeah, I think that you put maybe a little bit too much of yourself out there on Facebook. Yeah, maybe, but... Oh, maybe I'm just old-fashioned. I think you know? you're a little old-fashioned. So yes, uh, privacy norms do change. They change across time and culture. Um, one good example uh, is, for instance, the fact that 10 years ago I would have been shocked to see uh, um, an album of vacation pictures of my employer in her bikini on Aruba. But uh, currently it's not that weird anymore to see someone's vacation pictures on Facebook and just be able to scroll through them. I'm really interested actually how your person would look like online. Oh yeah. I would love to see yours, but I don't think I want to see mine. <laughs>